Hey y'all, it's Brandon. So today I'm gonna work on the uh, work on the steering. So it's had floppy steering for a little while. Here, I'll show you. Steering box has quite a bit of play in it. And with the rubber bushings on the frame side of the track bar, this thing's kind of kind of fun to drive. Yeah, not really fun to drive, but. All right, so you should be able to see the steering input turn and the output turn, and you can see the difference in the slack in it. All right, so now I'm gonna go back and look at it. You've seen it before I did. We'll just make sure there is slack in the steering box that way. The input was spinning a little bit and the output was doing nothing. So there's definitely some play in those gears there. All right, so I don't know if you can see over here behind me. Here's the steering box I picked up in the junkyard. So while in the junkyard, I checked the power steering pump on the truck that it was in and it had fluid in it. And there was no fluid dripping off of the off of the power steering box. That made me feel pretty good that it wasn't leaking. I don't know why it'd be a bad box. One major difference between the one in the Suburban and this one here is, as soon as I turn the input, the output moves. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, as soon as I turn the input, the output moves. There's no no slot between them and I do think there's a way to uh, you can tighten the steering box up by adjusting this bolt here um, but I'm not 100% sure how to do it I'm not gonna worry about cleaning it up it's uh, it is what it is I'm not I'm not terribly worried about it my, my impact break it loose I guess Ooh, I don't have my steel toe boots on today. Oh, that would that have been bad. Yeah, that's what's in there pretty good. Really don't want to mess up that dust boot there. Dust boot on the one I have. There we go. Just push that dust boot down out of the way. That may not be good. I probably should have just went ahead and cut that. Should. Grab a punch real quick. All right, so since I don't have a uh, torch to heat this up a little bit, pop it off, I'm gonna use my welder. It's 
So I got it tightened up and pressure on it. And so that should heat it up enough that this will come off. Oh, hey, do you see my uh, my clear shield over there? Can you hand that to me, please? This thing sucks, bro. Really. Try to cut it here. I don't know what's nasty. Is. It's what? <laughs> Well, sometimes they come off good and sometimes they don't. Oh, that thing sucked to get off. Got that cleaned up. I'm going to uh, pull that, that fitting out that I broke. Hopefully all the fittings come out of my box easily and I don't have to uh, run parts down today. So another thing, we'll make sure that we don't let the steering wheel spin because once we disconnect the box, it will spin completely around and mess the uh, clock spring up inside. What a lot of people do, they'll take the seat belt and put it all the way out to where it'll lock. So what you do is run the seat belt through the steering wheel. Make sure it locks. Sure it's got pressure on it. And that'll keep the stern most straight. Alright, let's start taking stuff apart. anything over there. Why didn't you tell me you couldn't see anything? Ah, there we go. Maybe I will need my breaker bar.
Alright, it's coming off now. Say so, whatever. Take away this thing down and out of the way. So I said I was gonna put gloves on, I didn't do it. So if you see down here, there's a U-joint right underneath my finger. And then just below the U-joint, there's a tiny little, like 14 millimeter nut right there. I gotta take that off. Slide my steering shaft off of the box. And then these two lines here, this high pressure line and the low pressure line, undo those. And then these three big bolts in the frame here and the box will fall out. The old box, the new box, well, the junkyard box, not the new one. So I'm gonna get that junkyard box put in there and get the air blood out of it. Hopefully that don't take very long. That's really one thing you wanna make sure is that you have the O-ring on that piece because these are O-ring uh, flares. You really wanna make sure that O-ring is on there. So I was fighting with this thing. I knocked the O-ring off of the high pressure side. Had to find that. Found out it was cracked. And then um, had to dig in the trash to find, find the old one that I broke on the other steering box. And during all this, I wasn't recording at all. So you missed all of it. So as you can see, I got the box um, stuck in there see fittings are tight back this bolt out and raise the whole box up and get it fastened back in there steering wheel loose. I'm going to cycle that steering box back and forth. Try to get a lot of air out of it and then I'm going to fire it up. Let the power steering pump run for a little bit. And then after after I'm pretty sure I got all of the all the air out of it and there's no leaks, then I'll put the pitman arm on it. With the pitman arm on it, it'll be hard to get to those fittings. And I, uh, I'd rather just leave the pitman arm off of it for a little bit. I'll drive it for a week and then pump it out and put new in it, put some better stuff in it.
kind of wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle. Let's see. Let the other way. It didn't go straight. Which way did it go? How far? Let me see. Ugh. All right, straighten it up. Hold on. Is it straight? Are you sure? Kind of turn it left and right for me. It didn't move splines. Um, hang on a second. Now turn it. Let's see if it'll move. Not yet. Hang on. It should fall off. That thing's so wedged in there, it's hard. Alright, now turn it. Oh, hang on. Let's let it fall completely off, I guess. Alright, now turn it. Easy to turn. Alright, now wiggle it. Hang on. Alright. Is that straight now? Okay. Almost is close enough. And my hands are so greasy, I can't, I can't even do this. Okay, we'll just have to deal with it. I'll drive it and see. It may be fine. I probably should have rebuilt that box before I uh, put it on, huh? got it one spline off on the pitman arm so i'm gonna pull that back off straighten that straighten the splines up on it to where it should be and then take it for a test drive all right y'all well that was uh changing the steering box i may be pulling it back out to replace the seals and the o-rings in it um i probably should have just went ahead and did that while i had it out see it back out of the garage yet another time Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you. steering wheel still off but that thing is never never steered so tight is what it does now feels good thanks for watching y'all